Yeah, well, the governor was in Dumas today in Mountain Home yesterday. He travels with the Arkansas Department of Health to answer questions related to COVID-19. And guys, sometimes it does get heated. We love it, but you keep covering it up. So, so, so ma'am, do, do you want the microphone to make a comment? You don't need to yell. I'll give you the microphone. This exchange is from Monday when Dr. Dillahay was asked did the vaccine causes infertility. Dr. Dillahay responded saying there is no factual data to support that claim. So I think it's important for people to have factual, accurate information. Fayetteville pediatrician Dr. Marty Sharkey told 4029 News that the concerns about infertility are keeping some young women from getting vaccinated, and she says that can be dangerous. And we are seeing women when they get COVID and they're pregnant get very sick um, and have to have emergency C-sections to save the baby. Um, their lives are put in danger. Another common question at the governor's meetings are about the vaccines not yet receiving full FDA approval. Governor Hutchinson responded Monday saying that most people hospitalized in the state are unvaccinated. Those who are dying 99 per plus percent have not been vaccinated. And despite these few heated moments, the Arkansas Department of Health says the state has seen an increase in vaccinations since starting the COVID conversations. Dr. Sharkey says holding these conversations is crucial. Having the conversations with your doctor um, is one of the biggest things that we've seen alter that um, with your loved ones that are um, hesitant, you know, talking to them about your experience and how to get the vaccine and side effects you experience, what to expect in the process. And the governor will be in Salem Springs at the community building on Friday. That starts at 11 o'clock and everyone is welcome to attend that. We're live in Fayetteville. I'm Kendall Ashman, 4029 News.